Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, we have been working on various labs that are part of the AZ-104 exam, which is for Microsoft Azure Administrator. And these labs, they're available uh, in the GitHub from uh, Microsoft Learning Account. And I'll give you the link uh, in the video. In this series of labs, for the next seven videos, we'll be working on this particular lab for uh, backing of virtual machines and just to keep this video short and manageable we'll break and do uh, one video for each task so this is the first task that we're going to do in this one we're going to provision our lab environment so let's get started so to provision the lab environment we're going to go to the Azure portal and we're going to open the PowerShell and we need to upload a template file and a parameter file to the Cloud Shell home directory. So let's get to those files first. So let's open up another window and uh, labs and we're working on lab 10 and if you look at it there are two files so let's click on it. Uh, raw file and did save as desktop lab 8 so let's create a new folder lab 10 and I'm going to save this particular file here go back And we need the template file, so let's get that and save it. Okay, so we have that. Uh, so let's go to the other window. So we are in our Azure instance. We're going to create our, um, going to open our cloud shell. We just need to click on that. Uh, if you're the first time accessing, you will see this that it is going to ask you to create a storage account. Just say, yeah, create one. And it's going to create a storage account um, where it's going to this account will be used by the cloud show um, and just give it a minute and it's going to show up well that's going going on let's go back to the lab so what we're going to do we're going to set a couple of variables one is for the location another is the resource group name i'm a big fan of east us so i'm going to use east us as the location uh, for the deployment resource group name if you notice it's AZ104 10 is the lab number and RG0 is the first resource group that we're going to create and then when you run this command new AZ resource group you provide the name and the location it will create the resource group for you so yeah so th this is ready uh, so first thing let's upload this file to that so click on that uh, let's go to lab 10 why do I have so many files in here? That one is looking a bit weird. So let's uh, upload the parameter one first. And let's go back over here one more time. Probably I didn't do this. So go, you have to go to raw and save page as vms template.json so that's the file i need so click on it click upload now this is the file that i need okay this already selected so click on it and it's going to tell you whether the files are available here or not you can also also do dir command to look into what's available here all right with that let's start the lab um so let's get this command first paste and as i said i'm going to use is us or for the location uh, resource group name I don't need to change anything so this is gonna be okay and to create the resource group it's just a simple command so that's done it says data succeeded and it's giving us subscription subscription ID resource group and then the instance of the resource group so that looks good and this is just a deployment and 
if you look at it it's saying new is a resource group deployment and it's going to tell which resource group you're going to deploy where is the file it's under home az 104 bms template edition and this file needs some parameters where the parameters file is the same place and this is the name of the parameter file and, and as job means it's going to run as a background job and it's going to give the sale back to you so that you can type some more commands so let's hit enter so that's running and we got the command back so we can type more commands if we need to um, it just says minimize the cloud shell and it says the deployment should take about five minutes okay so before I end this lab this is all I needed to cover for this particular video uh, just take a look at uh, what do we have in those two files so let's go back okay let's start with the uh, VMS template and kind of understand you know what is trying to do so again two things for the AWS exam just make sure that you're kind of comfortable reading these files the JSON format uh, the content version is a required parameter schema is another required parameter and then what you are passing uh, you're setting username uh, metadata for the username uh, you, you're setting admin password uh, virtual machine name prefix uh, default value is az 10 vm uh, PIP is by public IP address name prefix and then network interface card name prefix uh, image publisher what kind of image so Microsoft Windows Server that's a default default value so uh, most likely you will see a Windows machine that's obvious from here um, image offer again Windows Server image SKU so default value look at that is 2019 data center so you would expect a Windows Server 2019 data center uh, allowed values there are three different values that are allowed that you can deploy with this template uh, default value for the size is DS to V3 I think that's okay for my deployment um, virtual network name we are also providing what is the address so once the machine is running I would expect that machine to have an IP in that space like 10 0 uh, zero one or something like that so this space any IP that's within this space we can use it um, then uh, virtual network resource group uh, you're also you're creating a subnet zero subnet prefix you're also deploying an NSG network security group and here are some of the variables uh, here are some other resources and uh, their dependencies they're all listed in here really nicely okay and if you look at the parameters file some of the uh, things that the template file needs is listed in the parameters so the administrator username is going to be the student this is going to be the password this is going to be the vm prefix so review this and let's go back and take a look at if uh, our deployment is already done uh, looks like it is okay let's just look at our resource group and in the resource group this should be the resource group and uh, here if you look at the deployment so this is going to tell you whether your deployment that you tried if it was successful or not it looks like it succeeded so everything is good uh, just look at what we have looks like we have two virtual machines in that particular uh, resource group uh, we have two uh, disks we have IPs, we have one NSG and one virtual network. All right, our development or our lab environment is ready. So I'll see you in the next lab and we'll start creating a recovery service vault. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe, share and good luck with the exam.